All right, my legends, welcome back to another video with your good old boy, Jay. And today we are back to more traditional uh, time-lapsed painting video where I drew a very lewd fish with her ass in your face and she's twerking and she's got her double cheeked up on on a Thursday afternoon. I feel like recently I've had a disproportionate amount of butt art. Next time I'll probably go more into boobs. I think I, I've been drawing too much butts lately. But besides that, the topic of today's video is going to be about speed versus art style versus quality. Because if you check out my, you know, quote unquote portfolio or my past works, um, you realize that, wait a minute, none of this guy's stuff looks the same. Like, why is it, why is it all so fucking different? Is he a fucking cheater? And, and I know for a fact that, you know, I might get into trouble for that in the future. And that is why I time lapse everything and I upload it so that I can be like, what, what cheating? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, look, I have everything time lapsed. It's all out in, in here for you to, for you to take a look. You can, you can analyze every single fucking frame if you want. Do I do a little bit of, uh, photo bashing for backgrounds? Yeah. Do I heavily reference depending on the art style? Sure. I don't think any of that's really incriminating. So, you know, I have no problems with showing people my process. But at the same time, it's a little bit challenging for me to really pinpoint an art style that I'm the most comfortable with as well. Because I've just been trying so many different things and, and trying to figure out what works for me in terms of the final product's quality and the speed in which I produce it. Because I feel like one of my hardest, most difficult challenges right now as an artist is to create quality work in a timely manner because i think for the most part i have the quality down already but i think the amount of time it takes for me to produce the work is it's a little bit absurd because i have this strange habit where i try a lot of different new techniques and do really challenging poses and maybe um foreshortening or maybe um lighting scenarios and i end up just bashing my fucking head into the wall trying to figure out how to make it work and looking at my time-lapse work i have spent literal hours just making mistakes and coloring over it and so when it comes to being a professional that can consistently produce good work in a timely manner and meet deadlines i'm not ready for that i am not a professional in that regard if you give me a deadline like i will fucking i will probably fucking fail or I have to cut a lot of corners to finish the piece of work. Although I will say I have been getting better. I have been streamlining a lot of my processes and I have been getting very familiar with the tools that I use in Photoshop. So I definitely saw a lot of improvement on that front. But at the same time, I'm still not producing enough in the amount of time that I want. So that is why I've been trying out a lot of different styles and see which one works for me. Um, so with this drawing, it's more akin to traditional anime fan art. I think there were a couple of stages in there where I could have just finished the picture and just called it good with minimal detailing and stuff and just posted it and it would have it would have been fine. But I just have this tendency to just fucking go hard and try to make every piece as good as uh, as good as possible. So it, it, it's going to take me a while to try to draw in a more utilitarian way where I have a set goal, a set final image in my head that I'm going for and just and just finish it and just call it good. Because with, with almost all of my paintings, once I start on them, I have a really hard time stopping. I would just spend hours just staring at it, thinking about what I can do to improve when realistically it, it might be better to just move on and produce more work instead of... Uh, fixating on a single piece for so long. It's probably because I come from a traditional painting background when I first started out learning art, where in the classroom, we would spend literal weeks on these like meticulous fucking oil paintings where you would, you know, you would work on it and then you have to wait for the paint to dry literally. And then you, you know, you need to stand back and take a look at it and see what you can do to, to improve it. And it was just this like super tedious fucking process where it took weeks upon weeks to finish one single painting uh, or drawings you know traditional media tends to be a lot more labor intensive because you know as a beginner learning uh, traditional art 
you are going to make a lot of mistakes and mistakes are very unforgiving on traditional media because you will spend a lot of time fixing those issues. And so I think a lot of my workflow is still reminiscent of when I did traditional work because when I draw, I'm a big fan of just making a complete mess, right? It, it helps my brain to process what I'm working on if I do rough versions over and over again until it's good. There are artists out there that can do a clean version straight off the bat and I'm really fucking jealous of stuff like that because clearly as you can see from from a lot of my time lapses I have the ugliest fucking work in progress pictures ever it's simply because my brain um I just don't have the knowledge I don't have all the right information to create the perfect piece and you know that that comes with uh, me not doing reps right that comes from me not practicing enough anatomy and all that shit uh, like I've like I've said before uh, a few times, but you know sometimes you just can't fight the way your brain is wired. You just can't fight the way you are wired to process information. And honestly, for me, this is a workflow that I find enjoyable. You know, even if I'm wasting a lot of time with these preliminary rough sketches, you know, in terms of doing things like concept art, doing early compositions and stuff, it it is encouraged by most people to to start rough. Right? It's just unfortunate that my roughs are so ugly and unappealing that I can't start impressing right off the bat. And so with all the art styles that I've attempted, I actually really like the, um, the Sakimi inspired one. It's a lot more reminiscent of what I used to do with regular painting. And it creates a really nice final product where the character looks very soft and has these really nice um gradated colors and there's just so many details in, in the little colors and, and, and gradations that i do because one issue i kind of have with um more standard anime style fan art kind of uh painting style is that it's heavily cell shading reliant and when it comes to cell shading you can't do gradations all that well you have a lot of hard edges with shadows to imply form and the most beautiful thing I think about traditional, more standard fan art art styles is that you can create a, an extremely three-dimensional looking image with very little work if you know what you're doing and can place the shapes in, in the right place. Like if you know where the lighting goes and where the contrast is supposed to be, you can create a very, very three-dimensional looking image straight off the bat. My only issue is that Cell shading is a lot harder to use for describing um, small form changes, right? So like for the butt that I drew here, um, you know, there's some creases where the, the butt cheek meets the leg. And with a more traditional style, you can go in uh, so much more detail. What I have here isn't bad, and I did end up using a lot more gradation than I really was meant to. But I think that's probably the biggest weakness with this art style is that there's a lot of subtle, nuanced form changes that you can't really push with uh, cell shading. So I guess currently for me, I'm still exploring options in what I like doing. The piece I'm, I'm working on after this video is posted is based off of my uh, one of my favorite video game series and has arguably my favorite art style in all of anything. And I'm thinking I might stick with that one. It's going to be very interesting because that style is like a mix of cell shading and Western comic book style almost. It's a more Korean style. So I also really love Korean painting styles. So it's going to be interesting to take a look at that one. But yeah, that's it for uh, today's video. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll catch you next week. I don't know what I'm going to do because I do not have any backlogged uh, footage for any standard time lapse so I may do another one of those mini tutorials uh, we'll see we'll figure it out but yeah thanks for watching I'll see you later